Hello, my name is Liz Bogner. I'm the volunteer experience lead with Girl Scouts of Southeastern Michigan and also your friendly neighborhood volunteer toolkit admin. And I would like to show you volunteer toolkit for membership year 2020. So the first thing that you'll notice when you log in for the very first time this year is the Explore tab. And the Explore tab just prompts you to make a choice. And that choice is, do I wanna build my own year plan for my troop? Or do I wanna stick with one of the pre-selected year plan tracks that GSUSA has put together? Now, if you're, a new, uh, if you're new to the volunteer toolkit, I would highly recommend going with one of the pre-selected year plan tracks. And even if you're not, there's a lot of really great content in these year plan tracks. So looking at the brownie level for our fictional brownie troop, we can see that there's a lot to choose from. So we have seven journey year plans and five badge year plans for a total of 12. Also, you'll notice that there's some new year plans year plans this year. You have the coding and outdoors year plan and the space science and outdoor adventure year plans. And you can find these year plans at the Daisy, Brownie, and Junior levels. Older girls will have something a little different, but kind of the same sort of things. So let's say um, we wanted to get a sense of what our troop wanted to do over the course of the year. You know that girls like working on badges, so maybe we stick with one of the badge years and we can maybe show our brownies some of the content if, um, if they wanted to explore some of these. Like let's say they're sort of interested in space science and outdoor adventure. We can have a look by clicking the preview button and seeing everything that's included in this year plan. So you'll see some of our new badges for this year included in this year plan, as well as the Global Action Award, which is now in the volunteer toolkit. So let's say the girls have reviewed this. They say, yeah, we wanna do this. That sounds great. Then we can select this year plan track and then it'll just ask you to confirm your selection. So once we made our selection, it will send us to the year plan tab. And um, a couple of things to note in the year plan tab. Number one is this yellow uh, kind of goldish ribbon up top. If you ever see this, this usually indicates that there's some sort of upcoming maintenance with the volunteer toolkit. So we've gotten the message, so we can just X out of this right here. Also, there's a banner right here that'll show you some, um, some new and upcoming kind of stuff going on with the volunteer toolkit. In this case, we, this is uh, showing us the new K through 12 uh, high adventure badges that have just been added to the volunteer toolkit this year. So if we scroll down, we're gonna notice that this is basically the same stuff that we saw in our little preview. A Couple of differences though. First is we can reorder our meetings however we want. All you have to do is click on these little uh, gray dots here. Then if we scroll to the bottom, you'll see some more kind of goldish ribbons. These are what are called milestones and milestones indicate an important day. So you're gonna see stuff like Julia Gordon Lowe's birthday, World Thinking Day, information about fall product and cookie programs and early renewal, things like that. You're not necessarily going to see Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. That's just something that was added into the demo site. So first step when we're in the year plan tab is to assign dates to our meeting. And we can do that by going to uh, um, this calendar function. So let's select a date for our meetings. We're not gonna start meeting until September. Let's say we're gonna start September 9th. We're gonna meet at 4 p.m. every other week. Now, since we meet on Monday, um, as you know, a lot of schools meet the Monday of the week of Thanksgiving. Now these boxes, these indicate that we don't wanna schedule a meeting the week of whatever holiday this is. So in the case of Thanksgiving, um, we're gonna be in school that day, so we're gonna meet that week. When we've got this all configured how we want to, we'll just hit update calendar. And that's uh, that little notification just says the system is going to schedule 15 meetings, which is the number of meetings in the year plan. And we just say, yeah, we wanna do that. And then it'll come back up and it's going to assign dates to our meetings. So you can see them all right there. Now let's say that we wanted to add some badges. We can just go to add badge or journey and then a search dialogue is gonna come up. 
So what, what I recommend when you're searching for badges is using filters unless you know the specific name of the badge. So we're a brownie troop, so we want to look for brownie level material. And as I mentioned, this fictional troop likes earning badges, so we'll go to badges and petals. Now, let's say we have a really outdoorsy group. So let's select outdoor and see what we get. Then we'll go to view list. Now the system's gonna show you what is already included in the year plan so you don't duplicate your efforts. But anything you see with a checkbox by it, uh, that's something that you can select. So let's say we wanna do brownie trail adventure because maybe we're gonna go camping later in the year. So let's select all of the meanings associated with the brownie trail adventure badge and make sure that you have all of those meetings because you don't wanna get halfway through a badge and then stop because then girls won't earn it. So we'll hit add to year plan and it's gonna automatically put those at the bottom. Now, let's add that camping trip in. So we're gonna go to add activity and we'll just put in some information about camp. Let's say we're going camping kind of at the end of the year. So let's put it in late June, say June 19th. So we're gonna go camping at Camp Hawthorne Hollow it's gonna cost 10 bucks a girl so that parents are aware of that. And you can add in a description if you want. And then you'll hit add activity. This council activity thing that you're seeing, don't worry about that. That currently isn't anything, but eventually it will be. So pay it no mind for now. So anytime you add an activity, it's always going to show up in blue. Now say that we wanted to do all of these trail adventure badges while we're at camp because that kind of makes sense, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to combine all of these meetings with our camp, um, with our camping trip. So in order to do that, we're going to go to manage calendar again and we're going to find one of those trail adventure meetings and then we're going to hit this little calendar icon. From here, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go to combine meetings, and then we're gonna find all of the meetings that we want to combine. So we want Trail Adventure one, two, and three, and then we'll hit continue. And then we're gonna select our date. June nineteenth is the date of our camping trip, so we'll select June nineteenth, and then we'll hit save. And then the system's gonna think about what you're doing for a little bit. But this is a really great way of either combining. Um, two badge meetings into one single troop meeting or if you're a multi-level troop that's a really great way of taking Daisy Brownie and Junior material for example and putting it all into one meeting all right there it goes so um, down here at the bottom we'll see all of our badges um, all of our trail adventure badges are together on the 19th so that's all set up. And that's really all you need to know in order to be functional in the year plan tab. Now let's take a look at the meeting plan tab. You can either access it up here or you can get to it by just clicking on a meeting. So let's have a look at Space Science Adventurer 1. I'm gonna get rid of this little banner here. So if you decided that you didn't want to do this badge for whatever reason, you could always replace it and it'll bring up the search dialog as if you were adding a new badge, or you can just delete it altogether. But we want to do the Space Science Adventurer badge, so let's have a look at it. So if you ever wanted to know what the badge requirements are, those are just up here in this little top section. And then... Um, our, we kind of kick things off here in the meeting plan tab with the planning materials. You have your meeting overview, which tells you broadly kind of what you're going over in this meeting. And then we have the activity plan, which tells you how to execute the meeting. So it has um, activity ideas and it tells you some, some ideas for dialogue. And um, you'll notice that there's a red activity here. We'll find out kind of what to do with this thing a little later. And then you have your materials list. And this is a list of materials to buy for, um, for anything that's already in the activity plan. So if you're 
creating your own activity for this badge or doing something that's maybe not related to the badge in your meeting, uh, just know that it's not going to show up in this materials list. So that's your planning materials. Then we have manage communications. And what this is going to do is this is going to send an email to parents and caregivers in your troop. So this is just kind of a basic sort of email. For some meetings, it'll send uh, the meeting overview, but you can customize it however you want. And it's also going to send some, uh, some meeting aids as well so that girls can be prepared for the meeting. You can also record girl attendance and achievements here. So if you go in here, you can mark who was here and who wasn't. So um, this kind of figures into whether or not they receive a badge. So if all the girls are here for, um, for, for space science one and two, then they'll earn that space science badge. Down here we have some meeting aids. These are just nice little um, like PDFs and videos that you can use during your meetings to kind of enhance them a little bit. So there's ones that are specific to meetings that are always going to be here. And then you also have some that are just kind of general. And you can choose from a bank of them. And there's PDFs on songs. They have song lyrics or um, like the Girl Scout Promise and Law. There's a scavenger hunt in here somewhere. But you can just select whatever you want. As, um, as it pertains to what, whatever it is you're doing in your meetings. Down here we have the agenda, and this is the agenda as it is in the activity plan. So if there's anything that you want to modify the time for, like say that snack's only going to take five minutes, we can adjust it to five minutes. Or we could get rid of it altogether if we wanted to. But who doesn't want snack? So that red activity, that select an activity thing that you saw earlier, this is where you select that activity. So let's say we got a bunch of artists in our troupe. Maybe we want to make a moon art project. So we'll select that. And in our activity plan and our meeting overview, it's going to, um, it's going to populate with that project. Then we can also reorder these activities however we want, just like we could with the year plan tab. If you want to add an activity in your agenda, you can do that and you can select an amount of time for it, describe it, whatever you want to do. And then that's going to impact uh, the time that your meeting is ultimately going to take, which is right here in bold. Down here at the bottom, there's a section for meeting notes. So you can use this to communicate with your fellow volunteers if you wanted to, but uh, just be aware that parents are able to see this. They can view Volunteer Toolkit, but they can't make edits to it. So this could also be a really great place um, to give messages, messages to parents. So that's the Meaning Plan tab. Now let's check out the My Troop tab. This is basically your troop roster, and it has a bunch of information um, about girls and their parents' contact information. Um, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll be able to see your volunteer roster. So anybody um, who is listed as a volunteer with your troop, be they a co-leader or, um, or like a troop support volunteer, treasurer, anything like that. Then we have the resources tab. And this is a really great place to go because it has a bunch of resources that are broken down by program level, and it also has some that are broken up by topic area. And what you're seeing here is a little bit different than what you're going to see ultimately in your version of Volunteer Toolkit because we're able to upload some council-specific resources here. So you'll see some stuff that is um, specific to Girl Scouts of Southeastern Michigan. So that's the resources tab. The one tab that I'm not able to show you here today is the finances tab because it's not available on the demo site, but that's something that you're going to be able to see in your version of the volunteer toolkit. And what the, uh, the finances tab allows you to do is to keep track of your finances throughout the year. And it's a really great place for parents to be able to go on and see kind of what's going on with the troop financially. So there's that piece of it. 
And then there's also the fact that you can submit your volunteer, your, um, your troop annual financial report through the volunteer toolkit using the finances tab. And the, the finance report is due every year on June 21st. So um, just make sure that you're keeping that in mind and that you want to fill it out on the volunteer toolkit because that's going to be the easiest way for you to submit that report. So um, if you use the volunteer toolkit and you find that you have some questions, feel free to reach out to the volunteer experience team. We're always available to answer your questions about the volunteer toolkit. You can reach us at volunteerexp at gssem.org. Uh, so thank you so much for viewing this volunteer toolkit demo, and I hope you really enjoy using this resource. I think you'll find that it's incredibly helpful.